Georgia Capitol Newsroom now. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger says Georgia continues to break early voting records. Chatham County has already accepted more than 35,000 ballots. WSAB's Archie Sashadri takes a closer look now at voter demographics across the state. Voting experts predict up to 5 million Georgians will vote given recent trends, and of those, 2 million will vote early. We really haven't seen lines of any, of any import in terms of around the state. There are a few specific locations at a specific time. Like if you go at lunch on a Friday, you're going to stand in line. If you go to the end of the day on a Friday, you're going to stand in line. If you went on the first day, you're going to stand in a line because those are historically always the heaviest days. New data shows nearly 60% of people who have voted are white, 30% are black, 2% are Latino, and the other two are Asian American, while 10% did not specify race. We have more measuring right now. We're seeing the behaviors of voters. We're seeing about 15% of people who didn't vote in the 2018 election. About half of those did vote in 2020. So we're not seeing a lot of new voters. We are definitely not seeing young voters come out. They are less than 6% of the overall vote, even though they are the highest percentage of registered voters. People are voting their values and they're voting their issues. Everything from health care to health insurance to um, election um, reform to voting to taxes. People are interested in what's happening in their community and what's happening in their families, and they're going to the polls to vote. Republican voters are much less likely to use absentee ballots, much more likely to vote in person, and even another layer, much more likely to vote in person on election day. 55% of voters are women voters, with nearly a quarter of the voters between the ages of 60 and 70. Young voters under the age of 29 accounted for less than 7% of the votes so far. Archit Sashadri, WSAV News 3 on your side.